Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Wanda Wisha binti Cik Wan Mamak Khair. My address number 2019-227564. My name is Amira binti Muhammad Amiruddin and my metric numbers is 2019-233342. My name is Nur Nazifah binti Abdul Mukti and my metric number is 2019-279584. My name is Nur Adira binti Madya and my matrix number 2019-27132. Before we go deep into the project, let's get to know the organisation background. We are hired by College Matriculasi Selangor KMS Library Administration to develop a book borrowing system for their school's library. This national matriculation College was established in May 2010. This college mission is to develop the potential of Bumiputra students in science, technology and professional through quality pre-university education to produce excellent human capital. Their vision is KMS as a superior generator of quality Bumiputra students to institution of higher learning in the field of science, technology and professionals by 2020. The purpose of this project are first, to help manage the effective delivery of library service of book borrowing in College Matriculasi Selangor Library. This is because the College Library has been recording their borrower's data manually with the file system. Since this school has many students, it is a time-consuming method and it makes it hard to keep and find all of the students' data. They have been using this method since the day this college was established. Next. The system will help the students as well as the librarian staff in searching, borrowing and returning books from the library. Students can easily search for books that are available to borrow through the website. Not just that, the system can make it easier for the library staff to record and retrieve information they need. The system also can alert the student who didn't return their book on the given date and automatically count their penalty fee. With the help of the system, the student who get the penalty fee can pay the fee online through the website. The objective of this project. First, we want to upgrade and always store books and students' information. Second, we want to develop a system that can make borrowing process easier and efficient for both users. Third, we want to develop a system that can store information of students and books in one place. Next, we want to design a clean and neat interface for an user. And lastly, to ensure system fully functional to be implemented immediately. Project Scope This project consists of creating a book borrowing system that allows the end users to borrow and return books from library. The limitation of this system is only 20 books in the system because we are still in system testing. The system is mainly used in searching, borrowing and returning books. Here is the module of the system. First, we generate staff and student login. Number two, generate student registration. Number three, search book by entering any keyword from books detail. Number four, record all borrower's information. Number five, the new books, make changes and achieve books. Next, Calculate fine for late return. Number seven, give a late notification in student's account. Number eight, pay fine by using FX payment through the system. Borrow and return book approval from staff. And lastly, generate bill from fine payment through FX payment. Method of data collection and analysis. First is document review and questionnaire. Second, business case or rules. Thirdly, summary finding. Fourthly, SWOT analysis or intangible benefits and tangible benefits. SWOT analysis or intangible benefits and tangible benefits. The strengths and weaknesses are eliminate the use of file system because it will be replaced with account for registration. This account has the student details and the book details as well. The students also can access to the system. Students themselves can search up and check the availability of the book before go to the library to borrow it. 
more students will be alert of the returning book due date. If the student returns the book past the due date, the system will automatically count their penalty fee. The book details storing process will be easier for the staff. The weaknesses are the possibility of the system can be down being high if the traffic too high at the same time. Lastly, it requires high-speed internet connection all the time. Next, opportunities and track. The opportunities are encourage more students to read the books because they can borrow the book and read it anytime they want. Increase library engagement as the system can be accessed 24-7. The threats are the possibility it will be attacked by computer virus and malware as it used computer to access the database. Lastly, security concern as it is prone to cyber hacks. There are two types of benefits that we gain from the system which are tangible benefits and intangible benefits. Tangible benefits are it will reduce the usage of the paper in a file system. Secondly, the information are more accurate about the student's details and the book details and the system will occur less error. Thirdly, it may be costly but it is beneficial in a long run. Next is intangible benefits. Firstly, it, it will raise the student's satisfaction of using the system. Secondly, it will enhance both students and staff experience in the library resources. Thirdly, it will improve the staff overflow as they need to key in the data in the same database. Student register and login page. In order to log in into the system, students need to register their information first. They have to click on the first time user button and fill in the registration form with information such as student ID, name and contact number, password and email address. Click register button and it will navigate to student login page. All information that have been input in registration form will be placed in database for login purpose. As for the login, student needs to input the information of student ID and password that were in the registration form. Make sure the student ID and password is correct before clicking the sign in button. Then, click sign in button. If it is successful, then it will navigate to student homepage and the system are ready to be used now. Student search book. User can search any book they want from this system. First, click on search book button to navigate into search book page. Here, they have to input any related keyword from book details. For example here, I want to search for computer science book. Click search, then we can see the list of related books will appear at the bottom of the screen. Student borrow book. Besides searching, user also can make borrowing on available books in the system. From the list that appear, we can see that there are borrow now button on each of book to make borrowing. For example, I wish to borrow Encyclopedia of Computer Science and Technology book. Then, more details will appear such as a student information and details of the book. Click Borrow Now. A pop-up will appear telling that user have to wait for staff making an approval. Click OK and then once request approved, another pop-up of successful appear. It also wrote a reminder for penalty fee if they fail to return the book on time. Click OK, then it will return to student homepage. Student make payment. In borrowing process, it will be a penalty to encourage borrowers returning book on time. By clicking pay button, 
user can see details of penalty fee they have on the pop-up of reminder. Click Pay Now to proceed on making payment. Fill in information needed like first name, last name, email, then for payment details, enter card number, name on the card, and choose card type, either card, credit, or debit. Enter valid truth and then lastly, the CVC code of the card. Click pay now and we will see the payment is successful made from the system. After finish, log out from system by clicking on log out button and it will navigate back to student login page. Now, I would like to demonstrate on how a staff can access the system. First, as a staff, they need to click in sign in as staff. They need to enter their staff ID as well as their password and click on the sign in button. Then, they will be navigate to staff homepage. Here on the homepage, we can see that the staff can do a lot of things such as search a book, view a student information, approve a written approval, and as well as approve a book approval. Now, I will like to show how a staff can search a book in the system. Firstly, click the search book button. On this screen, there are these text box and the staff can enter a keyword of a book in this text box and click the search button. The result of the keyword will be appear here. On the other hand, if they want to view all the book in the system, they can click the view all book button. On this screen, the staff can see all the books in the system. And for each book, there are two buttons which is delete button and update button. So let's say a staff want to delete a book. So they can click the delete button. And there will be message appear and just click yes button and that's all. The message will say that the book had already successfully deleted. So just click done button. And if the staff want to update a book information, they can click the update button. And they need to fill in all the new information of the book. And after they finish fill in all the information, just click the save changes button and a message that say the changes have been saved uh, appear and just click the uh, done button. So that's all on how to view all books in the system. Now we will add new book into the system. Click add new book button and it will redirect to this page where it will show the add new book information form. You will need to enter new book ID, enter new title, new genre, choose status, available or unavailable, enter new author, enter new bookshelf code, year published, and image. When you have entered all of the informations, you click add book. Now the book that you have entered have been saved into the system. Click done or add another to add another book. Now I will show you how to delete and update any book from the system. First, we need to input any keyword into the search bar. I will put computer science. And click on the search button then it will show you the result from the keyword that we have entered I want to delete this book I will click on this delete button and click yes if I want to delete the book or cancel if I don't want to delete the book now I will click done and the book has been deleted from the system now I want to update this book I click on this update button and it will show you this form that we need to fill in 
In order to update any information from the book, click on Save Changes and the changes have been saved. Click on Done and it will show you the result of the information of the book that we have changed. Next is Return Approval on the Staff Main Page. As we press the Return Approval, we will see the Return Approval page. It stated the book information and the borrower information. As you can see, the borrow ID of the book is BD0003. The title is Encyclopedia of Computer Science and Technology. And this is the borrower information, which is the student name is Ahmad Zamir bin Amir. It stated that the book has been written and the date of the return of 7 June 2021. And as we press the button back, we go for the book approval. It will pop up a notification about the approval request from Ahmad Zamir bin Amir. As we press the button approve, we will get to know the borrower information and the book information. The status is approved. As we press back, we will see the borrow approval, which stated that the book of Encyclopedia of Computer Science and Technology with the name with the borrower name of Ahmad Zamir bin Amir, the status has been approved. This is what we see in the borrow approval. As we press the button back, it will return to the staff main page. As we press the button log out, we will see the staff login interface. In a nutshell, the process of searching, borrowing and returning books are more efficient and easy to use. All the data are arranged systematically in the database. That's all from us. Thank you.